are you seeing some of those risks uh, more on the higher side when it comes to mid caps and small caps? You for yourself have done very, very well in your small cap portfolio. You shifted well at the start of this year. Um, so are you now suggesting that some amount of money be taken off the table when it comes to small and mid caps? How are you viewing some of those uh, valuation trends? Uh, small cap, uh, I think there's some more meat left there. Okay. Uh, as the election takes the center stage, uh, there could be some flight of capital. But if you look at the small cap index, especially from a mutual fund investor standpoint, the NSE 250 small cap index has some large heavyweights. The point I'm trying to make is still the liquidity is going to drive this segment. You don't have to quit the game. Now, how does one know? and be ahead of the curve with respect to the liquidity in the small cap mutual fund, for example, because DIIs buy a lot of small cap, FIIs buy a lot of large cap. Uh, we've actually devised an algorithm which tells you what was the index, uh, what was the money flow in the small cap index yesterday, uh, small cap funds yesterday. And you would see that there's 1,000 crores which has come into the small cap funds, which is not released by Amphi, it happens every month. Uh, in the first 11, 12 days of October, you know, working days of October, we have seen about 1,000 crores coming into the small cap index. Till this number remains positive, it will be difficult for the uh, Nifty to outperform the small cap index. So how do I know when I would book my profits from that 35% in small cap back to 5, which was the call taken? We went right, uh, God has been kind, but it's very important to know when to quit. And I think till the tide of liquidity turns, you would want to uh, uh, take the ride and be ahead of the curve before the tide turns.